delicious beer, delicious beer. You're looking at me like I'm If you say so. I don't get that, but that's okay. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Biz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Bach beer. Why? Because that's what I wanted after I got done being pregnant. <laughs> so we've had the baby and he is hanging out with my husband's chest. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yay! <laughs> so we've also been watching the Vikings and so we're calling this the Ragnar Bach beer. Why you might ask? Because we're going to be using the Omega Lutra Kvike yeast. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to be in this recipe doing nine pounds of light Munich, one and a half pounds Vienna, a half pound of Carafoam, one pound aromatic, 0.33 of Carafa 2, 0.33 of Melodoidin. And so we were trying to hit a balanced uh, profile of this beer. And so for our calcium, we did 83 parts per million. For our sulfate, we did 92 parts per million. And for our chloride, we did 80 parts oh, per million. Yeah. I know. You're really cute. Anyway. So um, we added in gypsum for 0.75 teaspoons. We did calcium chloride at 0.75 teaspoons. We did one teaspoon of acid and that got us at a 5.2. <clears throat> so future editing biz here. I meant to say pH of 5.1. I was thinking as we filmed that I misspoke but charged ahead anyway, obviously. If we had landed on 5.2, we would not have added the baking soda I'm about to mention to raise the pH, and we clearly did not need to add the amount of acid that we added because it got us too low of a pH, and we used the specific additives chosen because we started with reverse osmosis water, so there was a clean starting point with water's natural pH of 7. Although we could have missed the exact correct measurement by doing slightly too much or not enough of something with teaspoons being a very small measurement. We were very close to our target though, and we used brewersfriend.com to assist us in our water additive journey. Now back to the video. pH, but we wanted a little higher, somewhere between 5.2 and 5.8. And so we added half a teaspoon of baking soda and that got us at 5.3. So that hit really well within our range. So then from there we moved on. We added in for our 16 minute boil, we did one ounce of Magnum. And for our 15, we did one ounce of Laurel Hops. And Hi. we, I know. And then so from there we added in our yeast nutrient because We've heard that kvike yeast, since it, boil, or since it ferments super quickly, we added in five teaspoons of yeast nutrient. So then we also have a yeah. work block as well at the 15 minute that we added. And so now we are done fermenting and so yeah. we're going to check this beer out. Um, and of course, I forgot to mention again, the kvike yeah. yeast. I know, sweetheart. Yeah. So we're going to check out the appearance the aroma, the body, the taste, and overall general impression of this beer. Hopefully this is pouring a little bit better. JJ replaced the lines, so it's no longer... Uh, it is kind of heady. Oh well. Probably because I have the pressure a little bit. Uh, when did you do that? Yesterday. Ah. Okay. Well, I mean, not terrible. Just need to... Clean that again. That's okay, it already needs to be cleaned. So, <clears throat> so okay, so checking out this beer, we got a nice dark brown, 
kind of a little bit of amber tones in the background. We got a good, you know, creamy head, more on the oatmeal side of colors. And I think it looks really pretty. So, but then again, I love box. So, yes. Yeah. And then it smells very delightful. It smells very, um, in my opinion, true to style of a Bach. So if you've had a Bach before, you know that. If you have not, you need to try Bach because they're amazing. Um, I've got, oh yeah. Um, it's very, I want to say kind of bready sort of in the scent. Mm, so it's kind of sweet. Yeah. Smells good. Um, let's see. I don't know what else to describe on the show. Mm, that's really rich and like flavorful. That's really good, man. So I'm going to say it tastes very clean. Um, it tastes very, I taste that kind of coffee-ish notes because it's kind of got that roastiness in it. And, and so, but it's not like coffee, coffee in that sense. So more roasty is what I'm trying to say. And it's got a little bit of that bread taste that you kind of smell to complement that. Um, I'm going to say it's clean because we use the Lutric of Bike Yeast and not something else that would produce some pretty off, um, not necessarily off flavors, um, fruity esters that are also very enjoyable too. Okay, so it doesn't um, have like the crispness of like a Pilsner or like a very light blonde or something like that. It's got a little bit more roundness to the bubbles. I mean, I feel like the foam says it all on that anyway too, the way the foam sets up. Um, it's a little bit more, it looks softer, almost like a stout bubble, but it's not, you know, because it's longer. Right? Um, so yeah, um, I would say, I, know. I would say I like this beer. I'm going to keep drinking this beer. I mean, we've made this recipe and the past or at least very similarly in the past and we're going to probably continue making this recipe in the future because we love box. <laughs> it's delicious. Overall I would say I would absolutely make this again. In the past we have not done water additives. These are very new to us in the past, well, not crazy new, I mean, it's been a couple, at least two years now, maybe longer since we've started using water additives. And yeah, can't recommend them enough. If you are not using water additives, <laughs> you definitely need to try them. Um, yeah, probably one of like the most awesome things for making any of your beers go from like, really good to even more amazing um, yeah so cheers and <laughs> goodbye from baby boy oh no sweetheart are you hungry hippo <laughs> i mean like that's not the you know flavor that hits you initially like i'm thinking you know it's very malty very creamy. It's not like, you know, I don't know, like, I can, I can drink beer again. Uh oh. So we're pretty excited to see Amanda Lucha. Uh oh. He doesn't.